Alright, so we've just gotten some news. Well, we've gotten this news a few hours ago, I'm pretty sure, but we didn't really know what was going on. Well, I didn't know what was going on. But, as you can tell from the title, Dragon Ball Super is going to end its airing on March 2018. And obviously the slot for this anime will be replaced by Gegege no Kitaro, and it's going to air from April the 1st every Sunday obviously in the slot of Super and this is huge news okay so first of all what's happening right is the animators from Super obviously are gonna have to go work on um, the new Dragon Ball movie which is coming out this year of course and it, it's kind of confusing because some people are saying it's ending some people think it's temporary the, the thing is we don't know we don't know what's gonna happen. I'd say most likely the success of the film is gonna speak for if it's gonna return or not. Because, okay, I'm not saying like the anime did bad. The anime did amazing. The revenue is off the charts. And the ratings are amazing. So, the reason it's ending well i'd say one of the main reasons it's ending first of all they've got to use these animators for the movie itself uh and of course the passing of hiromitsu has occurred as well and you know it's a huge impact on the actual series itself but another thing you've got to remember and i'm, I'm kind of choked up about all of this stuff right now that's happening because I love this show, man. I love this show. We finally got Dragon Ball back and I don't want to see this end, okay? So the other thing that I just wanted to get into is back when Dragon Ball Kai was airing and it, it ended at the Cell Saga, right? And it got replaced by Toriko. And then Toriko had terrible ratings. People were like, oh, it killed Dragon Ball Kai, blah, blah, blah. And it, it its worst ratings well, actually, no. The best ratings of Torica, right? They didn't even compare to the lowest of ratings for Kai. So then they ended up bringing back Dragon Ball Kai, the Buu Saga chapter. So that, you know, it came back. So, like I said, there's a chance of Dragon Ball Super coming back, but it might come back, at, you know, as a different name. I'm not saying it's coming back. Nothing is confirmed. Like I said, we don't know anything. Okay, we don't know anything about it coming back or not. I just wanted to clear this up for most of you guys. I don't want you guys to be misinformed about anything. I want you guys to know the truth. Um, don't panic. <laughs> it's a scary time, of course. But we, we have to support the newest movie that's coming out. We have to support it. Um, get this out to all your friends that watch Dragon Ball Super. Tell them to support the new movie that's coming out. Okay? Um, I think that there's a pretty, pretty alright chance of it coming back. Um, if the movie does well, then even better, but if it doesn't, then I don't know, because, oh, also another thing I forgot to mention, this gives a chance for Toyotaro to catch up on, like, you know, on Tournament of Power, because currently in the manga, where we're at is we're literally right before they all leave, uh, for the tournament of power stage itself so they're just about to leave and as you guys already know well most of you guys that know but probably some people don't these chapters okay these chapters come out once a month so we only get one chapter a month to cover a lot of stuff and as you already know a tournament of power is going to have a lot of development for characters a lot of different spotlights so it's going to take a while for toy tower to catch up but you know we, we're still going to be getting dragon Ball content remember we also have the English dub happening currently. We're entering the Goku Black arc. So that's gonna be awesome. We got Eric Vale coming back as Future Trunks. Many of our favorite, well, many of our favorite character is actually Trunks. So it's gonna be awesome to see him come back. Okay. Um, so there's still a lot of stuff. There's fighters as well coming out uh, next week. So, you know, don't, don't, don't freak out, okay? There's, there's a lot of Dragon Ball stuff around. Uh, we'll be fine. Worst case scenario, it doesn't come back. And that's it. Best case scenario, it comes back. Um, we shouldn't take this show for granted, honestly. Uh, it feels like we have, and now it's kind of come back to bite us, I guess. I don't know. But 
I'm excited to see how this whole Tournament of Power arc ends. I want to see what happens. I'm really curious. But I guess now that the stuff with Frieza won't happen. You know, we were all like, oh, what's Frieza going to do with the gods? Well, nothing. Or it might end on a cliffhanger. Honestly, I'd rather see it end on a cliffhanger than on like a kind of well-tied ending. Because a well-tied ending would implicate that it's gone for good. But a cliffhanger would be like, hey, hang in there. We'll come back. So, like I said, I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea if it's going to come back. There's literally no confirmation whatsoever on anything about it coming back. Um, also, we have Tsutomo Tsut Ono. Sorry about my pronunciation. Uh, Tsutomu. That's that's his name. Tsutomu Ono is um, is he? It's his last time being an animator. Well, animation director on Dragon Ball Super Episode 126. So it looks like he's leaving, which does not look good. Again, my apologies for that horrible name reading. I, that was horrible. I am so sorry to tell you honor. But yeah, like I said, it's his last time uh, being an animation director for Super on episode 126. Uh, he might actually... See, we don't know if it's his last time for Super because he might know something that we don't. Like I said, I don't know. But he's he might be going to the new movie... I don't know, okay, no idea, I'm pretty much just as in the dark as you are with all this stuff. I just don't want people to, you know, freak out over this, okay? And, you know, don't, don't, don't hate the new, an the new anime that's going to be, um, you know, coming. Because, like, you've got to realize, the, well, like, Kitaro, this is the 50th anniversary, so I think it's going to be its own series. They've got to celebrate that um, and just let it be, you know, don't, don't hate on it, don't, you know, don't be rude. You know, you got to represent the Dragon Ball community in a good light, okay? You've got to just represent it in a positive light, you know, because you, you, don't, you don't want to promote our community as, like, something bad, <laughs> please. My goodness. Honestly, I don't know. I, I think... Honestly, at this point, we should just relax. Um, you know, wait, wait for Dragon Ball Fighters to come out, and just wait to hear more about the situation. Because like, there's nothing we can really do. No matter how much we scream, nothing's gonna change. Obviously, Dragon Ball did come back. Uh, because if you remember, Dragon Ball Evolution was a thing, and that didn't really sit well with Toriyama. He was like, mm, nope. But we gotta show him what Dragon Ball is. So we got the movie, Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, which were incredibly successful, which then led to Dragon Ball Super coming here with its amazing ratings. Of course, some episodes were very low budget in terms of animation, but that's fine. Um, and now it's gone on a high to slash ending because we don't know. Okay. Remember that? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen from here on out best thing that we can do is just hope that it comes back support the new movie like I said support the franchise uh, buy the game uh, honestly buy Dragon Ball Fighters it's gonna be an awesome game seriously if you're into fighting games or if you're into just getting into fighting games get it it looks so much fun at least to me I don't know about you guys you guys might have a different taste but it looks so fun and I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm still in shock, honestly. Like, how can one not be in shock to hear something like this? Like, oh, Dragon Ball's ending or something. It, it's ending, I, let's just hope it's ending for a while. Okay. Because, again, Super might end, but we might get a new series that continues on. We, we might get a time skip, which would be awesome, you know? Because, like, I, like many of us, we want this show to go past the ending of Z. We finally want to see what happens after. So it'd be awesome if we get a time skip, or, uh, th again, they've got to tie this up really well, okay, because one episode 131 is the final episode, um, so we've still got quite a few episodes to go through, okay, so hopefully the pacing is good, uh, the tournament might end before episode 131, and then like 131 might be the wrap up episode, I really hope that's not the case, I hope we get a cliffhanger, I hate cliffhangers, okay, I'm not a fan of them, but if we get a cliffhanger, 
that means that there's something to lead on from okay there's something to continue on there's something to build upon but i don't know and I, I know that these words are going to are going to be prevalent throughout this entire video but that's just the state that we're in right now we don't know okay we just we don't we're in the dark we're gonna be in the dark for a while but like i said you know support the franchise right now show we have to show everybody that we care about this and that we don't want it to end here uh hopefully we can go on get new arcs universe 6 arc where we finally get to see vegeta go meet the king of the saiyans of universe 6 uh, we get to see them go into other universes, get new threats, stuff like that, that we want. And yeah, tell me what you guys think about this sad news, actually. It's it's incredibly sad. Do you guys want this series to end or do you want it to come back? Do you guys want like movies every at the end of every year or do you just want the show? Just let me know in the comment section below. My name is Ivald. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and leave a rating below. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.